to create the map, you're going to click on the map button on the left hand side of the program. Initially, when you come into the map, this will be a blank screen. You'll notice that there are intersecting red lines. Think of that as the center of your facility. You can zoom in and zoom out by using the scroll button on your mouse. If we click edit on the left hand side, all the units that you're going to see here are the units that you created in SiteLink or that were brought over from a conversion. You could click on a unit one at a time to add, but that's not the best way to do it because if you add them one at a time, it's going to take you a long time to put the units where you want them to be on the map and connect them. The best way to do it is to choose a bunch of units that are in a row. So for example, if you have 20 units in a row, I can hold down the shift button and select all the units at once. And when I click add, they're now all in one nice row. If I remove the units, and do this again, I could have used the control button and clicked the units one at a time. Maybe unit four is not part of the list. So I can again use the shift button or the control button to select a group of units. Click add. You'll notice it's putting it from top to bottom. Maybe I don't want it from the top to bottom. Maybe I want it from side to side. I can use the align buttons to change how it's going to be viewed. You'll notice here that it's starting from W12 to W01. Maybe W01 should be the first unit. In that case, I can change the order. So now W01 is first, W12 is at the end. You could change the width and length. By clicking width and length, maybe they should have been like this rather than the other way. So by using the align, the order, and the width and length, you can get those series of units the way you want them to be. Click OK, and for a moment, it'll put those units on the map. Drag the units where you want them to be and click Save. Now those units are there. The map is color coded. They are default colors. The light green are vacant units. The teal color are rented. Those that are red are overlocked. If I double click on a vacant unit, I could do a move in. If I double click on a rented unit, I could take a payment amongst other activities. If you want to remove a unit, click on Edit and then there's an option to remove a unit here. Click on a unit or units click remove from map. Do I want to delete? Yes. Now they're gone from the map. You can add shapes, office, elevator, gates, put in the width and length of the particular shape. We'll call this a gate. This is for floor one. Click add and there's our shape. Again that will go on the, the map and we can save it where we want. Initially, when creating your map, don't get too concerned with having it exact at first. Put the units roughly where you believe they need to go. Get all the units on there, and then you can hold down the control and right-click those units if we want to move them around. So maybe these units should go a little bit farther down. By having them flash, they're now in an edit mode. And I move them there, then click Save. And that was a very quick way that I could move those units. So again, control, right mouse click will let me move that unit where I want to be and then save it.